Hey Virgos and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you guys all for joining me for this video and as always thank you for supporting my channel. Um, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be channeled messages from Spirit for the last two weeks of July uh, with the new moon in Cancer and the partial solar eclipse. Uh, some different energy is going to be moving in and uh, so I was called to do an extra channeled message for the month. Uh, the next two weeks is going to be an exciting time for you guys, Virgos. Um, it's about Zam time, too. You guys are, right now you have been in, like, a state of reflection. I mean, you guys have been been standing there reflecting for far too long is what the energy feels like. But you guys are going through a beautiful transformation, and it is literally, like, super propelling you into um, a beautiful new you, an, a beautiful ascension. Um, it's just going to bring a lot of new exciting energy for you guys. Um, for the last two years, you guys have really been uh, having a tough go of it. It's been one thing after another after another. And um, it's finally calming down a little bit. It's finally going to start um, working in what feels like your favor um, because you have you have done everything you have been called to do. Um, for a group of you, you are walking away from uncertainty. You are walking away from not knowing what to do. You are being guided by the divine, you are being awakened and your path is now had light shed on it and you know where to go. Um, yeah, you guys are really just on a beautiful, um, at times painful, at times hard, at times you struggled, but in the end, you are going to have a beautiful path of self-discovery to look back on. Um, you guys have come so far and have gone through, through so much. And some of you are still going through this process and it's, it's a little bit hard for you guys, but it is going to look up from here. Um, for this group of Virgos, well, for most of Virgos, actually, you guys, um, you could be in a room full of people that you know absolutely 100% love you and adore you and are there for all the greatest intentions, and yet you still feel alone. Um, you like your space. You like your alone time. But for this group of you, you're feeling um, even more so alone. It's because you're... Um, you're going within, you're being called to go within so you can um, find your spiritual center, find your purpose again, because you guys have got a little off track. Um, some of you have became so stable that you became stagnant, you become stuck. And uh, Yeah, it's it's calling for you to go within. It's calling for you to remember who you are. Remember what your soul's purpose is. Remember what you are here for. You are here for your journey. You are here for your dreams. You are here to live your life in the most amazing experiences that you want to do. Um you're no longer, for this group of you, you, you're no longer living for somebody else. You're no longer um, letting someone else's thoughts, actions, or words control your next step. Um, for some of you, you're emotionally holding on to something or someone. It could be a person that you, you need to let go of. Um, for some of you, you're coming out of a real tough time, a real tough spot in your life. 
and you are walking away from this painful situation and in that you're going to be amazed because you're going to walk into a much more stable environment, stable um, emotionally, uh, financially, spiritually. You're, you're going to be amazed at this energy that you're going to um, rise to once you leave this negative situation that you've been holding on to. Um, for some of you... Yeah, for some of you, I'm seeing you're not being honest with yourself or with somebody very close to you. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're you're not being honest with yourself. You keep thinking that you can make yourself be happy where you're at. You can try harder and you'll be happy. You shouldn't have to try to be happy. Um, it's an emotion that should just be given to you. It should be, it should come to you naturally. If you have to try to be happy every single day, that's not happiness. That is trying to struggle through life. That's not happiness. You shouldn't have to try to be happy. So. For some of you, I see you walking away from situations uh, from your past, whether this be a relationship, family, job. Um, I do see you walking away from a situation in your path or from your past. And you don't know why all of a sudden you're feeling this or should do this. You don't know what you're going to do, where you're going to go. But you just know that there is something really amazing coming towards you. Um, you don't know what you just, you can feel it. I can feel the excitement, like the newness of something. Um, yeah. And that's, that's the divine guiding you in that direction that they want you to go. So your blessings can come into you, come in for you. Um, For some of you, I'm not quite sure who this is. It could be like a mother figure, a grandmother, a mother, an aunt, an older sister. You're struggling with um, childhood hurts from them. Um, I see it as a mother energy. Uh, but like I said, if your grandmother, I'm sorry, I keep having a hair in my eyelash. Like if your grandmother raised you or... It's, it's somebody that should have been a role model in your life. Um, it's a, it's a woman, uh, most definitely. Um, you need to heal from those childhood hurts. This is, um, affecting you and you don't even realize it. You're projecting your, um, it's contributing to your self, uh, limiting beliefs. Uh, it's, it's something that's being called for, for a group of you. It's time to dig those wounds up and um, deal with them, confront them and put them, set them aside and walk away from them. For um, some of you, I do see you guys are working like on your shadow side. Um, yeah, I see you working hard. I see you guys are tired. I can feel your like worn outness, your your tired body. Um, take time for you. Take time to rest. Um, like I was saying earlier, the last two years have been just they've knocked you to the ground more than once. Um, for a group of you, I feel that all you want in life is stability. Yeah. You're always the one that's there to, to offer the stability. You're always the one there to make sure everyone's okay. You're always the one there that is giving the offer, the tangible offer. The And all you want is somebody to offer you stability for once. All you want is somebody 
to look at you and say it's going to be okay. Because as Virgos, you guys are always the ones that are there to fix people, to heal people. But it is okay to be the one that needs fixed once in a while. It is okay for you guys to be the one that needs the help standing back up, that needs somebody to brush off the dust off your back and tell you it's it's going to be okay. And for a group of you, you're just, you're longing for this. You're wanting so bad to share that with somebody. Um, because for this group of you, um, you could either be single, just recently uh, broken up within the last year or two, or you're with somebody that takes advantage of everything you do for them. Um, you're always the one that gives and you're just wanting that one person and not to give forever because you're Virgo, you're going to go back to that energy of taking care, but just once you want that. I do see that coming in for you guys in the beginning of August. Somebody's going to come in and show you what real love is, show you what true love does and how it acts and what it says. And, and you guys are going to be like a very power couple, um, life changing. Yeah. Uh, for you single Virgos, you're reconnecting with somebody from the past, uh, a past partner, um, an ex of yours could be relocating closer to you. Uh, this is going to offer a new beginning for you. Uh, this connection is meant to be. Yeah, this is a divine partner coming back. This is a twin flame or you moving towards them, Virgo, one of the two. This is a twin flame connection. Very passionate, very um, intense very sexual, uh, like desire, uh, romance, adventure, just a hundred and one words are running through my head right now. And you get butterflies just even thinking about them and you're nervous about seeing them again, but they're just as nervous about seeing you. But once you guys come together, you're going to realize there's nothing to be nervous about. If you can come together for the first time in this life, and it's like you guys never left each other's side from past lives, imagine what it's going to be like because you haven't seen them in six months. It's going to be okay. Don't be nervous. Um, for some of you, you are you could be dealing with uh, temptations, um, addictions. Uh, this is a test. This is a karmic lesson. Um, yeah. So be cautious of those temptations. Be cautious of uh, addictions, no matter what they are. Um, nothing is ever healthy in excess. Um, and that's a lesson that some of you uh, were here to learn. Some of you are dealing with gossip and rumors around your family life. Uh, Big, big mouths have small minds. Don't, don't even bother. Uh, don't even bother confronting it. They will go away. Um, and it's only going to cause more uh, drama and issues if you make a scene out of it. So let them talk what they're talking and tomorrow it'll be somebody else that they're talking about. For some of you, um, you feel like you're very trapped, um, trapped in your head, trapped in your situation. Um, you want change, but you don't know how to change. You want out of the situation you're in, but you don't know how to move forward. Um, I do see you coming out of that by the end of July. And it's going to be the perfect time to move forward. The next two weeks energy is so incredibly strong, so incredibly powerful that it is the perfect time to move forward in every area of your life. Um, and Virgo, I know like a lot of energy has been centered around uh, how hard it's going to be for you guys, um, how difficult this energy is going to be for you guys. And 
my angels are not saying that whatsoever. So don't let um, certain people discourage you. Don't let um, negative uh, opinions or uh, comments from those around you. Let, don't let that stand in your way because the next two weeks energy is going to bring in a lot of, it's going to be like a lighten a new fire under you. It's going to be like that gust of wind that you just needed to get moving. Um, yeah. Some of you, uh, yep. Some of you are needing to be reminded, I guess you could say that, um, you're not here to live for other people. You're here to live for yourself. You, this is this group that has been stuck for quite some time now, um, living what other people are telling them to do in the next two weeks. If you don't listen to anything I say in this video, please listen to this because this is very, very important in the next two weeks. You have the, the, all the energy of the universe at your back. This is your push. This is your shove to get out of this feeling stuck. This is the time to stand up for yourself and make choices that you want to do. But most importantly, this is a time for you to go within like Virgos do, but don't stay there. Go within. Find that light and let it shine. Find your spiritual center. Sit down, grab a piece of paper if you want to, and write down your goals. What do you want? Not what you think everybody else wants you to do. Not what you think people will like you if you do. Just go within, find your light, write your goals. And from here on out, don't listen to anybody, no naysayers, nobody who tries to tell you what to do. This energy has so much power and backing behind you guys that it's time to find your spiritual center. And when you find your spiritual center, you will be realigned with your soul's purpose. This is so important for you, Virgos, because you are in a time of transformation. You are in a time of ascending. You are in a time of realigning to get into your spiritual path, to get into your soul's purpose, to call in your uh, soulmate who will help you complete that soul purpose, to call in your twin flame that will uh, that is here to help you complete that soul's purpose. So this it is very important. It's time to shut everybody else out. Um, I know that's hard for you guys. It's hard for a lot of people. It's hard for me and I don't have Virgo anywhere in my chart. I just want to, I just want people to be happy. And so sometimes I let that sway my decisions, but it's time to be selfish. It's time to go within. It's time to, uh, get to know yourself again, get to know your wants, your needs, your goals, your ambitions, your dreams. Because if you don't know them, how are you supposed to go get them? If you don't know what you're chasing, you're going to end up running in circles. If you know what your goal is, you're going to be able to run that down and get it. You're going to be able to successfully meet that goal because you know what you're working for. If you're constantly looking um, to others to see what they want you to do, you get lost. You start running in circles. It, you get tired and you guys are so very tired. You know, every day, wake up with the mindset, make the conscious decision, make the choice for yourself. Say it out loud if you have to, you know, wake up every day and say, I'm going to live today. I'm going to live my life to the fullest and I'm going to live my life for me. Make that conscious decision every single day and you're going to come into a beautiful vibration by just, by just confirming that every morning 
making that conscious choice that this life is yours. And if you're in a position right now where you're not happy, why stay there? Because somebody else wants you to be there. Go get your dreams. They're here. They're waiting for you. And the divine is here to help you achieve those. Um, some of you are at a crossroads. You don't know which way to go. You know what you want, but you don't know how to get there. And where you're here, you're stable. You you know that your bills are paid. You know you're going to work nine to five tomorrow. You know, you know what? Virgo, live. It's time to live because you guys have are so worried about taking care of everyone else because that's the beautiful beings and souls that you guys are. And sometimes you forget to make sure you're okay. Sometimes you forget to make sure that you're all right, that you're rested, that you're um, eating right, that you're in a job that you love. Um, life's too short to not wake up and love what you do every day. Life's too short to not wake up and live every single day for every single experience that you are meant to experience. And this is going to bring so many new beginnings for you guys. And it's like, one day you feel stuck, you feel confused. And the next day you're going to wake up and it's going to be like, what has taken me so long? And your blessings are going to come in like crazy. Your adventurous side is going to come out. Um, a fire sign is coming in for you. Um, yeah. Yeah. A fire sign is coming um, in for you. This is a twin flame. You've been in separation anywhere from about 10 months to two and a half years. Uh, very passionate, very exciting, very adventurous, very young, uh, innocent energy. Um, just pure love, pure admiration for each other. Um, that energy was so beautiful. I just, I can't stop smiling. Uh, it's time to go get what you need, what you want. Um, it's time for you to live for you. Um, for some of you, you've had this internal struggle of who you are, what you want, what you want to do, who you want to choose. Surrender and follow your heart. Go within. Let that light out. Um, you can't live for other people. You can start over again. Some of you are scared about leaving your safe place, your, your home that you built with this person, your stability. They're things. Take the leap of faith because I guarantee you, I promise you, if you've seen what I've seen, you, there would be no question and your blessings will come tenfold. So don't worry about what you're leaving behind. The only thing you should be worried about is while you're stuck in that spot, missing what should have been yours. And that's what you're going to do if you keep staying in the stagnant energy. Go out and live for yourself. Um, spirit is really calling you to return back to your true self, to enjoy your life again, to have fun, to have this light energy that Virgos have. And Virgos, you are one of my favorite zodiacs. You have a heart of gold. You, I just, when I, when I think love and light, I think of my Virgos, my Virgo friends. Um, they're just, you guys are amazing people to be with. You guys are fun and, and funny and caring and loving. But when you, um, are stuck within yourself and your headspace in situations that aren't serving you, um, you retreat, you go within, you're sad. Um, some of you are dealing with depression. It's time to break free of that. It's time to break free and, and make that conscious choice because when you choose every time to live a life, live every day with gratitude and with love and light, everything else will fall away. Everything, I promise. Yeah, I'm so very excited for you guys. I hope you honestly really take the next two weeks to to do this, to, like I said, make a list of your goals because you guys are transforming, are transforming very quickly. Um, you guys are being propelled into a new direction. And oftentimes, I was just saying this to Sagittarius, when you um, 
transcend that fast and move forward, you're still living your life as if you're trying to reach the goals of the person you used to be. A lot of times those aren't the same goals. So make sure that you are reevaluating yourself, your life, write your goals down, and then go get them. You're, you're honestly and truthfully being called to return to your old self before all this worry, this pain, before all the hurt, before being tired. You guys are so tired, um, tired of the tower moments, tired of one thing happening after another, tired of having to choose, tired of having to take care of everybody, tired of having to put yourself last so you can put everyone else first. And in the next two weeks, Spirit is is calling for you to, to put that responsibility away, put that responsibility down, even if it's just for the next couple of weeks, put that aside and make sure you're first in line. Make sure you are figuring out what it is that you want because it's coming. It's coming in a big way. Um, this energy is changing the earth's consciousness as a whole. And Virgos, you're leading the pack for a lot of you. Um, there is going to be a tower moment in the next couple of weeks for a group of you. I, um, I will give you that. But um, this tower moment, this pain, this hurt, um, and for some of you, it's not even you. It's somebody that you're dealing with. Uh, this is meant for you to have your blessings come in. It's meant to clear your energy. It's meant to clear away everything that's not meant to be in your path anymore. Don't get scared. Don't fear it. It's not nothing. I mean, it's not, you're not going to find out that your spouse has been having an affair or anything like that, but it is going to shake you up emotionally. But in that shakeup, you're going to be enlightened. And all of a sudden there's going to be no, no choice, no decision. You now know your path. You now know what direction to go in. You're choosing a path and walking it. And that is so very, very exciting for you guys. Um, also, if you're having marital issues, make sure you're opening up communication. You guys are just pretending like everything's fine and nothing's okay. Um, make sure you open up communication and be honest with your partner. Um, it's time for you to discord. It's time for you to disconnect and, um, and walk your own paths to, uh, to who you're meant to be, to who you really are. Um, and in that you guys have twin flames coming back. Some of you, you're out of the twin flame runners. You're returning to, um, your chasers. Um, for those of you who are single right now, uh, Virgos, you guys are just relationships are in the next two weeks, mad new beginnings, like seriously insane. Um, if you're waiting on soulmates for, if you've been waiting for years, most definitely they're coming in. Um, if you've been separated from a soulmate, um, anywhere from eight to 11 months, they're coming back and they may have a surprise for you, um, that, uh, you didn't see coming, but it's a good surprise. Um, yeah, twin flame unions are happening of all, all, um, time frames of being separated. Uh, the time is now, the time is now you're being called by the universe to go within, find your light, return back to yourself, your true self, and start walking that path of your soul's purpose. And the blessings are going to come find you abundantly overabundant. So Virgos, it's going to be a beautiful, um, new moon in cancer with, uh, the sun or the, yeah, the solar eclipse. Take advantage of it. That's all. That's like the best, um, advice I can give you guys. Let go and start walking the path that you want. Quit living for everybody else. Wake up every morning and say out loud, Today, I live my life for me, and I live my life to the fullest. Good luck, Virgos. As always, I wish you love and light on your journey.